what's up guys it's emily and welcome back to my channel today it's wednesday the 18th and today i'm going to get my stomach slash sternum tattoo finished we were supposed to finish this tattoo in january but my artist had a cancellation so today it's my turn and so we do get to finish this tattoo this year so i'm very excited about that um, I'm going to do my makeup and I will update you about the tattoo because I still haven't done that. Um, after the last vlog I just never updated it. So yeah, I'm going to do my makeup. By the way, I found some pink hair dye in my bathroom and I dyed whatever is left of the light pieces in my hair. And yeah, I kind of like it. It's not that obvious, but still. So yeah, I will show you the tattoo in a bit. But yeah, we ended up getting so much further than we initially thought. We thought that we would only finish water lines or maybe just lines. But we also managed to finish the shadows in the most painful parts, at least for me. Um, I thought that the ribs over here were the most spicy, so I'm so happy that they are done. In the beginning it hurt a lot. I was trying to focus on my breathing, but that was kind of hard. So much harder than I expected. My artist recommended me to listen to a podcast and that's what I did and it helped me to distract me from the pain a bit, but still it was very painful. But yeah, I plan on listening to some music or a podcast today as well to just distract me a bit. But yeah, that only worked for a while and then it started hurting a lot. But then again, I forgot about the pain the next day. So <laughs> I just have to pull through, I guess. As for the healing, that was fine. I didn't wear a bra during the first week of the healing and I wrapped it the first two days. Showering was okay actually, I thought that would be really bad but it was fine. Um, and yeah, like I said, I didn't wear a bra for the first week and for me that was kind of a good thing about this pandemic because I have online classes so I don't have to go anywhere. So. Not wearing a bra wasn't uncomfortable for me at all because I was just at home behind my laptop. And yeah, this is my most itching tattoo so far on my arms. It never was that bad. So yeah, today we are going to finish the tattoo and I'm very excited about that. I'm, of course, as always, not looking forward to the pain, but at least the worst part is done. And when we have enough time, we are going to continue on this arm. And yeah, the next thing I want to do on this Disney villain sleeve is a Rapunzel flower from Mother Gothel. I am on my period today and I've heard that tattooing hurts way more. I'm not sure if that's true, maybe it's different for everybody. But yeah, I guess we will see. I'm going to finish my makeup off camera and then I will show you the tattoo so far. So I hope you're excited for this vlog. So yeah, enjoy watching! Okay, so here I am. And this is the tattoo. By the way, I'm wearing some high-waisted leggings again because that makes you feel more covered up while getting a tattoo over here because of course you cannot wear a t-shirt or anything. But this is the tattoo so far. And as you can see, we finished the shadow on the eels over here, which I'm so happy about because this was the most painful spot for me. So yeah, we gotta finish the shell and the coral and probably something in between here so yeah that's it so far and it wraps around a bit and i really like that 
And I really like how all my tattoos look together. My dad just dropped me off in Tilburg and behind me here you can see the station so I'm going to walk over there and then take the train to Eindhoven. Eindhoven and I'm now walking to the shop which is only a few minutes from the bus stop look at how cool my new face mask is shout out to Leon for making me this one <laughs> some time left so we're going to start on my arm going to continue on my sleeve so yeah Marka is going to draw on my arm <laughs> to do a cool ornamental Maleficent inspired piece on my thumb just a small one but it's so cool I've seen that design months ago already and I've been thinking about getting it ever since so so cool <laughs> since we're busy anyway we just thought we might as well just do it home again and as you've seen already we got very far today so I'm very happy the pain was very doable the sternum tattoo was way worse last time like I said already the ribs were the worst for me personally and this time we only finished the shading and highlights in the middle and we also ended up um making this part over here in the middle so i am very happy with how it turned out especially the shell looks very beautiful now i can't really show you yeah you can kind of see it so i'm very happy and i'm also very happy that i never have to feel this pain in this particular spot ever again like i said already we had some time to continue on my sleeve 
If you're new on this channel, we are working on a Disney villains themed sleeve and this one that I got today. I'm not really sure if you can tell, but I will insert a picture right now. But anyway, it's the Rapunzel flower, actually two flowers. And on my thumb, the placement is so cool, but again, I will insert a picture because it's wrapped with this glove right now. My session in January still stands, so yeah. Enough tattoos for this year at least, and then next year we're going to continue with something else. So this is the end of this vlog. I really hope that you enjoyed watching. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos in the future. Also, don't forget to follow Marika, also known as Miss Mavis on Instagram. Because she's amazing and I'm so happy with all the tattoos that she did on me. Um, yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!